Mr. Saab, you there? Yeah, what's going on? Well, Assalamu alaikum. Saab, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah. Thanks for joining, Mr. Saab. Yeah, I just did. I, I was afraid you're going to do the third camera cram, camera angle. That would have been too much. So I just wanted to come on before you do that. What's wrong with that one? I, I don't, we don't need that, Bajan, please. Like, why not? I, I mean, I just don't. Can you just not do that, please? Why not? Because, Bajan. Bajan. Yeah, yeah. It would be better if we don't have it. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it would be nice. You don't have to, you don't have to, sh like, do it. You don't like listening to your brother? <laughs> just because you said not to do it. Oh, oh, oh. man. <laughs> you know, and, and we're, we're going to do this all day today. No, but then, no, we can't. I can't be serious. But then, yesterday, yesterday, when your other angle was on, I couldn't keep a straight face. If you can't keep a straight face, look left, you'll see me. You can't, <laughs> can't, can't, look right, you'll see me. Dain taraf deko, bain taraf deko, jitte deko. Wherever you look, yamina wa shimal. Oh, but John. Yes. Listen, please, but I can't keep a straight face. Like, right. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Bajan. I just wanted to join this. Say salam to you guys. I know, um, you know, absent you join, everyone talks about you, especially my family. They enjoy your session so much. Barakallah and thank you. so much for your help and your knowledge, for your contribution. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you, protect and you. And you as well. I mean, all of you. Yeah, very afiyat, barakah, Sheikh. Jazakumullah khairan. Allah Thank you so much. Sheikh, 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 Sheikh Abdullah just has... Severe FOMO, you know, he just wants to be on the screen, he wants to be appreciated. Sheikh Abdullah, we miss you. That's why he came up today. Uh, that, he you know, tricky, I'm fasting. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to increase your ajr, Sheikh. I told you, he wants to increase your ajr. Are you fasting still? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Allah al mustaan. Allah al mustaan. If there are brothers, may Allah grant us brothers like Sheikh Abdullah. I'm, I'm, so I sat down. And uh, this person knew my appointment was at two thirty. You know what he was calling me the whole time, like Robert, because he had the wrong student's name in front of him. They so, thought you were Robert. <laughs> they thought I was Robert. Like, so Robert, <laughs> you don't even look like Robert's to a uh, lollipop. <laughs> so, so so it was like a Robert or some really like Caucasian name. So he's like, so Robert. Um, what would you be? So, how long have you been in college for? I'm like, oh, this. I see your, I see your file over here. Looks like you've done 14 credits, and I see you did the bio 1050. So, Robert, what would you like to do next semester? And I was like, Robert, <laughs> this dude didn't even have my name proper, and he's sitting there acting like. And you know what I did? I just soaked it all in. Like, you, I'm act, like, like, you act like Robert. I act like Robert. I was like, thank you, man. I mean, I appreciate that. And I just literally had the name wrong for half an hour. Wasted my time. And he's like all pretending like he cares about me. Robert, make sure you do this and you'll get, you know, you get 30 credits over here. You get gen eds over here, some electives over here. And it's it'll be perfect for you, you know? And I was like, okay, all right. I guess I'll go change my name in social security office right now that I'm a Robert now. So it's basically, <laughs> oh no, man. There goes a Robert joke. <laughs> Absolutely, Bajan. I mean, like the idea is, <laughs> that, but you brought that up very, you, you know, you're a very smart guy. You brought up perfectly because look, Surah Shura comes first, and then Allah, since you've been at the kaf, you're a better person. Staying at the kaf, you become a little funnier. You become you praise me more. You know, you're just totally different person. Just stay there. Now, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure people notice that. <laughs> but the one thing I do recommend, Mufti Saab, is just stay away from jokes. See, I don't come in your lane. You don't come in my lane. When you start coming in each other's lanes, there's gonna be friction. And when there's when there's two objects that rub against each other, what happens? Physics. physics. What happens? Physics. I'm not trying to be funny. That's your job, Ajan. Stay in your lane, man. Stay in your lane. Actually, actually, it's not even your job. Do I, start saying, do I start saying Iqbal? You tried. Because you asked me. I stay in my lane. Stay in no, your lane. No, but you tried a few a few nights ago and it was amazing. That the, the burden and responsibility that was put on my father's shoulders, if it was to be placed on mountains, the mountains would crush. Oof. So, so much pressure. You know, like you have basketball players 
that they're good, they play well. But right when the pressure comes, right when the playoffs come, the lights get brighter, they they can't do it. There's some people just not. What oh, person am I? You do good in those moments, honestly. I got to give you that praise, man. You, I'm not like I'm really good in basketball as far as those moments, but in real life, like fundraisers and stuff, I don't, I don't like to be there. No, you enjoy it. Why are you give you fundraising now? But why are you insulting me for? It? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not about standing up in the moment. It's about like you know, no, it's tawakkul ala Allah. Whatever Allah is going to make happen, it's going to happen. You don't. That's true. It's not your That's ability. True. It's not my ability. It's God's choice. God, we try our best. Say Bismillah and let Allah make the final decision. But then in the fourth quarter, something else. Do you know this guy? I don't know who he is, but you know, he knows one thing for sure. <laughs> you can count on me in the fourth quarter. <laughs> don't do it, Ahmed. Don't do it. You can count on me, but not him, okay? He's gonna have a hard time running up and down the court. According to what Khabib says, he's a heavyweight. The Prophet and Ikram and Nabi Jahal came to Medina. The Prophet said, All right, up until now, all that we used to say about Abu Jahal is off the table. No more. Because this for in the Because saying anything bad about Abu Jahl is not going to reach him in his grave, but it will hurt the feelings of his son who's alive. So if the Prophet took a step back and made sure the people in Medina knew this, and no one could talk about Abu Jahl anymore, then what do you think he would say to us about our mother-in-law, father-in-law? No one's in law. No, I have best relationship with my in-laws. <laughs> you know why? Because they're rich. No, God. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe you said that all live. You're crazy. No way. <laughs> because they're all, all the way on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I know the truth. I know it is. They're on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean. They're all the way in Pakistan. And I love it. You know, I always pretend to my wife, say, bring them over, tell them to come. They got citizenship. Just have them come. And deep down, I'm like, eh, please don't go. <laughs> you know, I I respect them. I never say anything against them, you know. But um complicated. <laughs> it no, me. no, but the, but that's that's basically as you know, the mother-in-law needs to take it easy with the daughter-in-law, just you know, especially when they're working in the house, just you know, stop being the teacher, just be you know, just be be friends. No, that's different. That's a different episode. Not today. Okay. okay, okay. Let's get that out. Just understand that. Because my in-laws gives me very sensitive. Why, man? I don't know, man. Like, I, I dealt with so many people with in-laws and stuff like that. Like, they pretend to like you, but they're, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no. Maybe, then, maybe, 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 maybe. Yesterday, it just takes one person, one strong person in the family. We can bring everyone together, and it also takes one bitter soul to tear everyone apart. So, inshallah, um, inshallah, it will be. We should we should remember that there's someone else's parents as well. Don't just you know get, eat into them, talk about them in a way that's someone's jannah, man. Don't talk about this them. Guy, like this that. guy knows a little bit, way too much about me. I don't know who this guy is. He <laughs> says she's listening, and she's your aunt, I believe. He's the, he believe. Yeah, she is. That is. Take care, inshallah. You know, it's like. Kabi, you ever eat kebab, move this up? Hard kebab, spicy kebab? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. Tunduri kebab? Yes, I have. Because I know you you like to eat very healthy, you know. I, I, I eat your share, alhamdulillah. But when you eat this spicy kebab shabab, right? And you you looking like right now I was eating some Arabs. And I said, man, you eat this kebab, it's going to burn on the way in and the way out. So take it easy. Oh, my God. Bajan, please, bro. <laughs> You know, Bajan, have some filter. You know, so <laughs> as the kebabs, when they're spicy, when they're spicy, right? And um, someone's eating it. He ate one. He's eating two. The second one. Everyone's like, drink water. Just, you know, take it easy. Take it easy. But he's having maza. In the spice, in the difficulty, his eyes are um, weeping. He's, he's crying. She's crying. And they're still eating this kebab. The reason why, because now the pain becomes maza. So similarly, wajahidu fillahi haqqa jihadi. Sometimes the struggle becomes enjoyment. You, 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 you do that in hajj. You feel it in hajj. <laughs> you do that in hajj where people are struggling and they're just saying, la ilaha illallah, la ilaha illallah. They're enjoying it. They're smiling. You ask them, can we get you a wheelchair? No, 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 no. They're enjoying it because they know this is the house of Allah. Allah is going to reward them. They would rather walk with blisters on their feet than sit on a wheelchair. Because they know the struggle is worth it. 
And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I've chosen you. You know, who watched the back home? No, man. <laughs> so, hey, man, Sister Jureya, hey, make sure you, you, you show yourself whatever we see, whichever city you're from. That is, has to be the comment of the year. I'm never going to think of kebabs the same when eating them. <laughs> no, it's, so you guys take things I see like the Bible. It's not that, everything is not serious. I'm not the Bible here. I, I say things, you know, I'm lighthearted. You guys take it like I'm the pastor speaking out of the church. Keep it easy, guys. Take it easy. Not, not, and you so know that, how hard it is to cut hair? How hard is it to cut hair? And how hard is it to cut hair? Like for guys, you know, they, they grow hair. You grow hair all the time. I've never, I never see you with short hair. Can you take off? You don't mind? Can you take off your turban? No, please. No, I'll pay, I'll pay no I don't want your money. I, I want to see you, uh, you know, ganja. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you without any uh, hair. You know? no, I just came from Umar. I know I just cut my hair there. You know, yeah, I know it's a tough exercise. It's a tough exercise because a lot of people they grow their hair, like they perm their hair. You know, people in my community, they, they you know they, they they take care of the hair, they look in the mirror for like 20 minutes, even the guys, you know. And now you're gonna go take a blade and shower, shower. <laughs> so oh, man. yeah, so it's 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 a big sacrifice, big you sacrifice. know, even trimming it. You know? Yeah, exactly. So that's the first aspect, Bajan. The second aspect, I'm gonna I'm gonna start you off on the second aspect. The 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 the, the, the fundamental, right? If these are two things, if you have, then it's easy to act upon things. You know, I, I have a I have a difference of opinion on the show. You know? And this opinion might, might might not be appropriate for online audience because we have kids watching. Um, but so if you if you like, but then my thing is. If you have to use a disclaimer, like you know how some people come to you and say, you know, um, forgive me if this, you know, forgive. I'm just, I, I just want to let you know, forgive me if this can hurt you. Just don't say it then, <laughs> you know, or they, or they, make, or they make the disclaimer. I didn't say this; it's forwarded as received. Don't disc the disclaimer does not does not remove you from the sin. <laughs> Sometimes I feel I know your brother better than you do. Do you remember what happened the other day when you told him you were fasting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of the water. Now you're yeah. telling him not to use a disclaimer. What do you think is going to happen right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna what do, do you it. think is no. going to happen? <laughs> you're right. You know, the, the reason why I said this is not because I'm not going to say what I want to say. The reason why I said this is because I want other people who have similar shughal type of minds to speak up. You know? Allahu Akbar. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. You, know? you like the shughal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> shughal, shughal means, guys, this is not my tafsir. Qurtu means tafsir. It's actually in the Quran, very clear. You guys are going shughal here, shughal there. Shughal means good time with your spouse. You know, the, the unlimited, unre, unre, unlimited pleasure and, and, and happiness and joy that a husband and wife can have in paradise without any limitations, without any constraints. You know, it's people don't talk about this enough. One of the most... Uh, Pure and lawful things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made in our religion is relationship with your wife and that's sadaqah. But I need pleasure. Eating is a pleasure. Drinking is a pleasure. Being with your spouse is a pleasure. Being with your kids is a pleasure. Like, you know, playing with them, talking to them. What is the best pleasure that a, a, a person may enjoy in this world? You will have that in Jannah times 100. You might wake up next morning, your horrible husband still the same horrible man. Right? Your horrible child is still this rebellious child. Wives are never bad, mashallah. Wives, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wife, perfect, perfect. You know, but the, the, the struggling in the relationship. You're scared, you're scared of your wife, Bajan. Oh, man. Don't even say my wife on screen. I get sugar. Sorry, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I start shivering. My oh, wife, God bless her. You know, and, and so when now you're talking, you have all these concerns. All these concerns, right? And you're talking to Allah about all the major issues. Let Allah solve them. 